I know it seems kind of strange right now. I'm sitting up here crying. But I just finished singing that song, God Has Another Plan. And I couldn't help but thank God. I thank Him so much. You never know when you're going through problems. And it seems like you go from one problem to the next to the next, just like the song says, from one fire to the next fire, and you come out of that, and you're right in another fire. And it just seems like it, it's never ending. It just goes on and on and on. And you wonder, well, where is God in all of this? What happened to all of his promises? You wonder, well, what did I do? Did I commit a sin I'm not aware of? I haven't come clean. You just wonder, you know, what's going on? What is happening? I'm living to save life. I'm trying to be as true blue as I can be. I'm trying to be the, the, the pure in heart, the, the honest, the, the righteous, trying to live a holy life. And you go into church and you're faithful and you're doing your offerings and you're, and, and, and you're working and you just, you're taking care of your husband and your husband's doing his best to live safe. And you're wondering, what is it all about, Alfie? Why? Why does it seem like I'm getting a crappy end of the stick? What is going on? I don't get this. I've been saved for years. Things ought to be getting better, not worse. And it just seems like it gets worse and worse and worse and bad gets to worse and worse gets to broke and broke gets to foreclosure. And, and then your husband gets sick and he's in the hospital and he's out of the hospital and then this complication and that problem. And then you have to give up your salon and boy, you just get to the point where you wonder, well, what is the point in all of this struggle? Is it ever going to get better? If not, then why continue? I never saw God's hand in it. I was so busy caught up in my problems. I did not realize that all that time, you know the other tape where you heard me talk about a whole nother world. I had no idea God was preparing a place for me in a whole nother city that I had never lived in. I was in Altadena for years. I never knew anything about this new city. All of a sudden, I'm looking at a place an hour and 20 minutes away. I wouldn't move back to Pasadena if you paid me, unless maybe I got a million dollars and I can buy a house for free. But anyway, I'm being funny and being silly. But when I think that God did all of this, he was preparing a place. I couldn't buy my husband a hot tub because we gave our hot tub money to his son to help him out. So there was nothing left for us to do anything fun. And then the house just became a big boulder around, around our necks. And we couldn't find a way out. There was no way of escape. And trust me, I wanted to run. I wanted to get out of there. I was like, stop the world. I want to get off of this. Well, let me tell you, the whole time, God was working. The economy was dropping and dropping and dropping. I know I told this story before, but just to think of how God was working out all those details and the hot tub my husband didn't get was here waiting for him in this senior gated community. My husband, blind, on dialysis, not being able to walk, finally had something to look forward to when he got out of the bed and we had fun dipping him i called him my dunkin donut dipping him in that hot tub and he had a ball it was the one beautiful thing he got to enjoy and it happened because of the foreclosure that we had to walk away from we did a short sale we came here we got help getting our closing costs and I'm telling you, it wasn't even a loan. It was a gift from a body of believers. God blessed us. He worked miracle after miracle. I'm telling you guys, don't give up. The swimming pool I never got to have, I never got to own, I never got to have put in my backyard was waiting here for me. Do you hear me? The, the walk the, the walking distant shopping center, walk to the grocery store, walk to the movies, walk to the bank, 
walk to the shoe store, walk to the furniture store, walk to the clothing store, walk to Best Buy, walk to, I mean, Stater Brothers, Winco. Everything is right here in my fingertips. Even though my car has given up the ghost, I can still get around. God had it all planned, knowing what problems lay ahead. Now my husband's gone, and the house is mine, and I am sitting here on a broke man's budget, living like a queen. Only God can do that. Only God can work out all those little details. God loves us. If you could just believe, he knows the plans he has for you. Plans to bless you and not harm you. Plans to give you an expected end. He is not planning on doing you dirt. When you do right by him, trust me, he'll do right by you. Whether you have the money or you don't, it will be there when it's time. Everything will fall into place because God has another plan, baby. Get excited. Go to God. Start thanking him ahead of time. Start praising him for his love for you. Start blessing his holy name for his faithful love and his goodness. His mercy endures forever. I glorify his name. I praise him. I love him. Because he has always done right by me, and I can't say the same for him. I, could, I did not do right by him, but he stayed faithful to me. And I thank him for his mercy. Glory to God. He is my father, my friend, my savior, my healer, my buckler, my shield. I love him. The lover of my soul, I love him, and I will never depart from him. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Believe. Don't stop believing. Just go to God. Give him everything. He's got it under control. He's got your back, baby. And I, let me just say it in, in street terms as if God is speaking to you. Baby, I got you.